excited <laughs> because I love numbers, y'all. I love math. I love numbers. So I know over the years, some of you may have seen them, these mathematical riddles that people post on Facebook, right? They give you um, like an equation and then an uh, equation with a number missing at the bottom. So right now, there's one going around on Facebook and the top two answers for this one is 40 and 96. So let me show you what the riddle is, okay? So you see that four lines, you got three equations and then there's a number missing at the bottom. So like I said, top two answers are 40 and 96. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys how people are getting these top two answers and then I'm gonna explain to you which answer is correct and which answer is incorrect and why. The reason I decided to do this video is because math is something that for some people to grasp it, they have to see it. So people are like going back and forth in the comments and replies on Facebook and some people are just not gonna get it. Like you have to put it on paper. So I'm about to put it on paper for you guys and hopefully we can come to an agreement and there won't be any more Facebook wars. So let's get into it. <laughs> okay y'all, so here is the riddle. Uh, one plus four equals five, two plus five equals 12, three plus six equals 21, and eight plus 11 equals what? All right, so the most common answer that I'm seeing is 40. So we're gonna start with 40, okay? This is how people are getting 40. Because if one plus four equals five, that's basic, right? They're saying two plus five is equal to seven. And then seven plus five is equal to 12, all right? If we keep going with that pattern, three plus six is nine, and nine plus 12 gives you 21. Keep going with that pattern. Eight plus 11 is equal to 19, and 19 plus 21 gives you 40, okay? So we have one contender here. We have 40, okay? And the people say, yeah, 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 it's right, it's right, it's right, it's 40. However, what everybody is missing is the pattern. It's a mathematical riddle. And in math, you look at the first three lines to establish the pattern. So we're gonna take a look at the first three lines, right? You have one plus four is five, two plus five is 12, and three plus six is 21. Look at the first three lines. This is going in ascending order, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we keep going in that order, then this actually becomes one, two, three. Everything between is left out intentionally because why? It's a mathematical riddle. So you need to add those lines. Okay? Of course, we still have our plus signs. We're going to keep going. Four. Well, this line starts over, right? Four, five, six. Keep going with that pattern. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right? Finally, get down to the bottom. This is how they got the eight plus eleven, right? So if we go that route, then what's going to happen is we have the exact same answers because we keep the same pattern. But in this case, four plus seven is 11, and 11 plus 21 is what? 32. Five plus eight is 13, and 13 plus 32 is 45. Six plus nine is 15, and 15 plus 45 is 60. 7 plus 10 is 17, and 17 plus 60 is 77. 8 plus 11 is 19, and 19 plus 77 is 96. So then we have our second contender, 96. And so some people are saying, but wait, 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 wait. They didn't give you all those lines in between, so why would you add those lines? 
Again, because it's a mathematical riddle and in math, the first three of anything that you see establishes the pattern. You cannot break the pattern, okay? Secondly, this is, for anybody who is very logical and analytical, this is the um, what broke it for me because I said, okay, I see how people are getting 40, I see how people are getting 96. One of these answers has to be correct. So I was able to figure out the actual formula. Look at it a different way with me. These are the add-ins, right? One plus four. One and four are add-ins, two, five. These are called add-ins. Whenever you add something together to get um, uh, an answer, those are add-ins. If you take the add-ins and if you multiply them to get a product, and then if you add the first add-in, you get the answer. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's go with the first line. Well, let's start here because we have more space. Hope y'all can still, yeah, y'all can see that. Okay, so add in one times four equals four plus one equals five. You might say, well, Yvonne, why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> because it works, right? I stared at this for a while and it works. So let's keep going. Two times five equals 10 plus what? Two, because that's the first add-in equals 12. We're getting the same answers, you see? Three times six equals 18, plus the first add-in, which is three, you get 21. And I know a lot of people get it now, but I'm going to be thorough for anybody who may not understand. Four times seven equals 28 plus four equals 32. You see? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Do you see the pattern? Five times eight equals 40. I'm writing on a little bit of space here. 40 plus, oh, there should be a plus sign, plus five equals 45, right? Because we're adding the first add-in. Six times nine equals 54 plus 6 equals 60. 5, 5, 12, 12, 21, 21. Same answers. 7 times 10 equals, this marker is weird, <laughs> 70 plus 7 equals 77. Right? 8 times 11 equals 88 plus 8 equals 96. Our answer, guys, is 96 because you cannot break a mathematical pattern. It goes against the, the untold or unknown mathematical rules. Um, and I want to show you another way to look at it. If we just, you know, focus here on the green, right? 1 times 4 equals 4 plus whatever the first number is, right? That's my one. Two times five equals 10 plus whatever the first number is. That's my two, you see? And we've established that pattern. So this is why the answer is 96. And for anyone who's saying, oh, you can't just add lines. We're not just adding lines. We're going off of the pattern that was already established and told to us by the first three lines of whoever was the author of this awesome mathematical riddle. So I hope that helps, guys. Um, I don't want to battle anybody. <laughs> I just wanted to put it on paper in numbers so everybody can understand. So, all right. Peace and blessings. Zainabu Levon over and out. Bye, y'all. Peace.